guys, welcome back to Release the Craft, and Priscilla here with an exciting announcement. That's right, the long-awaited, much-hyped Povember is about to begin. Starts November 1st. It is a month-long challenge, all themed around our uh, good buddy, good pal, friend of the channel, Edgar Allan Poe. And you guys, I am so excited for this. I am like shivering with anticipation. I am so excited to bring this to you. I've been waiting and waiting for this and a lot of you guys have been asking me about it and also kind of low-key hyping it up. So I'm excited to present it to you today. So as always, because I think I always forget to say this, this prop list will be available on my blog. It's linked down below. It's on my website. Go to my website, go to my blog. You'll be able to find this. It's a prop list. Uh, this year I will be doing a couple of things different. Uh, one, last year's November was not a challenge. Sorry, Smokey has entered the chat, so everything is now falling over. Uh, <laughs> last year this wasn't a challenge. This year it is a challenge, which means that at the end there will be a giveaway. But this year, there won't just be one giveaway. There will be two giveaways, and I'm going to break it down to you. Okay, so right off the top, I decided, because I usually do a poetry challenge in the month of November, but I've switched now to Edgar Allan Poe, that I would honor that poetry challenge by doing Edgar Allan poems. And so that's what we're doing. I, I picked six of them. I broke it down for all 30 days of the month. And here's how it is. Okay. Um, there will be a little giveaway, a mini giveaway, and then a big giveaway. To enter the big giveaway, you need to have 30 makes for the 30 prompts. Ta-da. <laughs> They're all here for your viewing and perusing pleasure. Um, to enter the mini giveaway, there are two ways that you can enter. Okay. So hear me out. You see how it's broken up into six different poems? You need to pick a prompt from one of each of the poems and make something from one of each to enter the mini giveaway. Or you can do all five prompts on one item, which will still give you the same amount of make. So by the end of the month, you will have six items that you have made using the prompt list. Either way, you can enter the giveaway that way. If you make six things, using each and every one of these prompts, mini giveaway. If you make one for each of the categories, mini giveaway. If you make everything in all 30 days, you will be entered into the larger giveaway, the big giveaway. So help me out, okay, you guys, because sometimes these challenges get a little bit overwhelming with everybody tagging me and all the stuff. Like, continue to do so because I don't wanna miss your stuff, rude. Okay, we're done honking at things. So, uh, at the end of the month, when you post your final make, and you tag me so that I can see it, just leave a comment at the bottom in your, your description of whatever your video, your, your Instagram post. I will not see it on Facebook. I can't stress to that to you guys enough if you are posting stuff to me on Facebook. I don't go on Facebook. So don't, don't post to me on Facebook or connect it to your Instagram so I can see it because I, I will check those ways. Um, make sure that I get to see it somehow. If I'm not commenting, I haven't seen it. Um, at any rate, at the end of the month when you post your final make, Will you leave a comment in there that says if you are entering the little giveaway or the big giveaway so that I know how many posts to go look for when I go back to make sure you, you completed all the things? That would really help me out. That would be, I would be really appreciative of that. But at any rate, you guys, I'm really excited. I think this is gonna be really fun. I think um, I've got a lot of feedback from you guys doing the challenges that I've been doing this year. Um, and a lot of you guys like the mini challenges, so I wanted to keep it in a mini format for those of you who don't have the time to participate in all 30 days. I know it's like we're coming up to the holidays here in the States. Um, so you might not have the time to commit to all of these these individual items and these individual words are really hard individual makes so you can enter the little giveaway and still get to participate in povember and not miss it but some of you guys have also been like hey i love the little tiny challenges but i really miss your big challenges so i also did it in a big challenge format so there's a big challenge there's a big giveaway for that one so here we are. I am very excited. This is going to be a great month of gothic, spooky, creepy fun. Um, I am not sure how I will roll out videos. I don't think I'm making a video every day, but we'll see. But I will definitely do a video where I read the poem for you guys in case you need that or if it's just easier to come to my channel to find it. Um, and I will also link a, a written version of the poem so you can see it yourself and peruse for inspiration uh, for each of the, the little segments. So I will put... Uh, like the poem up for Lenore on the first, so you can read it that day, and then the same thing on the sixth. I will read the Haunted Palace, and we will do it that way so that you can you can get a little bit of the reading. And like I said, I don't know how I'm gonna post all my makes and stuff. I will figure that out as I go along. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. We're going to make a bunch of cool gothic -y, spooky things and uh, keep the spooky season going. I am very happy to finally get to to announce Povember, and I hope that you guys join me. Uh, the hashtag is down here at the bottom. It is hashtag Povember24. So if you are participating, make sure that your post has that hashtag so I can easily find it. Also, so that others can easily find it. Um, it does make it very easy for people to find your things. I will be following the hashtag here on YouTube as, as well as on Instagram. Um, and then, you know, you can tag me and yourself and want to make sure that I'm seeing it so that you can enter into the giveaways, whichever one you decide to do. And then, yeah, that's all I have to say. You can make a, oh, because you guys asked me this too. You can make junk journal ephemera. You can make individual art pieces, paintings. Uh, you can make drawings. Uh, you can do photography. <laughs> Uh, I, there's not a lot that you cannot do. I try to discourage things that aren't actually requiring you to, like, make the thing. To take the time to make the thing. So, um, coloring pages, unfortunately, will not be, like, uh, considered for entry. But if you want to do the challenge via coloring page, just to do it. Like, absolutely do it. Whatever you're more comfortable with. Um, oh, and also, somebody did ask me this, so I will be saying it. Um, no AI art generated stuff as your your stuff so if you are doing your ai art prompt and then you are sharing me your completed ai art thing no <laughs> no thank you um now can you use ai art in your makes that's up to you that's i'm not going to police that um if you're making something physical from it and it's like a cool piece of ephemera or something that's totally up to you guys so um i have no problem with that I just don't want you to hand me a piece of AI art and tell me that you made it. <laughs> so that's going to be it. I think that's everything I have to say for this. Uh, Povember starts November 1st. Uh, hashtag Povember24. Prompts on the website. Cannot wait to see you there. I will see you guys here on the channel November 1st. So stay tuned for that. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see what you guys make. Until then, guys, I appreciate your faces. Happy crafting. Bye.